Hey, what's up, y'all? Bo Artake over here back with another review. Today, we are taking a look at the effect system public estate version A and version D. Now, let's get into it. So I've got my two sets from BigBadToyStore.com and if you check them out, they've actually got a pretty interesting selection of these like put together type of dioramas. So, so yeah, check them out over there. They've got some cool stuff over there. For the most part, each piece is the same with the exception of like the designs on the door and some minor differences. Connecting both of the shelves, you get about six and three quarters worth of playroom. Seven and a half inches long, 14 inches high, a little shy of six and a half inches deep, I guess. This is what it looks like from the back, bottom, very Lego-y. I did do a video on putting this bad boy together, so check that out if you're interested in seeing that. I'll try to put a link in the description below. First, we'll take a look at the FEC system version A. So you start off with these four panel pieces. You put them all together. This is the ground area. Excuse the noise outside. They're doing some yard work. I do like the panel, like how it feels and stuff. It feels smooth. It's got like a kind of a marble type of look to it. It does have these little groove hoses to like kind of customize and switch it up a little bit when you're setting up. Some people might have a little problem with these little grooves right here. Clear plastic. I guess these would be like beam sport. Tiling that they put around here looks pretty cool. The different colors and stuff. This writing right here. Don't ask me to translate that. You have the windows which looks kind of like something out of a prison movie or something. Now, you can see different like lighting like shadings and stuff. It's a little darker in this section right here. It's a little lighter right here. I do like it has some depth inside of it. That's pretty cool. You have the door for the first floor, which looks pretty cool. I like the, it's like a greenish yellow. It's got some shading. It looks a little aged a little bit around the metal parts of the gate. This thing looks pretty cool. I like that. Then it's got this design right here. I'm not sure what that says, but I like the whole color palette for that. It looks pretty cool. This place almost has a slight creepiness to it. Like when you deliver a refrigerator, but you don't come back out. I'm gonna leave y'all mail outside. Second floor, you got the same things happening. This is a clear type of plastic right here. That's cool. I like that. If you look at it, it looks a little festive actually. It looks like it got some type of reef type of thing right here. It's got a green door, some red, a little lock right here. I like the way this one looks too as well. These pieces do have a little bit of weight to it, but I wouldn't grab it from anything other than the bottom of it. Take a look at version D. It's the same parts. This place looks a little more inviting, I would say. Looks like somebody got the door open and got a curtain or something like that. Just hanging up, drying some sheets, maybe. They're probably cooking in there. Roses look nice, though. I do like the color palette. And on this floor, we have a red door looking hella foolproof. You got a lock right here. This looks like a doorknob. You might see it like a public establishment or something. I tell you, man, nobody's getting in this door right here. All right, I want this clown put in nice and quick. Martha's making meatloaf tonight. Meatloaf? That sounds good. Stay focused, rookie. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa. Now you guys want to see how some figures stack up with this. So I got a couple of figures I'm going to show you guys right here. This also brings me to my complaint. We have the NECA Akuma. As you can see, scale-wise, he's actually pretty tall for this set. From certain angles, you can kind of fudge it a little bit, but you will not be able to put this guy inside. Like, he just... You won't be able to fit him inside. So seven in scale figures is out the window. Donatello. I'm going to put this guy inside and show you guys what that looks like. Looks all right. Like I said, from certain angles, you can kind of finesse it a little bit. It actually looks kind of good from here. But if you put him at the top, you can still see like the size is definitely off. It's a little small. You see where the tip of his head kind of and his body type is just too big for the door. Here we have the Marvel Legends Wolverine and the Mafex Cyclops. You can see the Cyclops is still a little too tall. Certain angles it's going to look good from, but a lot of angles is really not. Here we have the Kotobukiya Zero Model Kit. And as you can see, it looks a little better than the Cyclops, but it does still look a little small. You still get some good photos in. Here we have Ash Ketchum from SH Figure Arts. And out of all of the figures, uh, I would say that he's scaled the best. Then we have your Figma She. So final thoughts on effect system version A and D. Even though the pieces, I feel like they don't they don't represent each other well. Like as far as the locations and stuff, it's hard to really pinpoint where you would find an establishment like this. You got the gates for the uh, doors. You got the prison bar windows. You got the tile for the walls on the outside. You got the gate. You got the, the strong doors. You know, um, it's hard to really figure out where exactly you would find a place like this. But... I do appreciate the colors that they use for this thing. It makes it pop a lot, so I do appreciate that. My only complaint is the scaling of this thing, which 
is a pretty big complaint. I do wish the scaling was a little bit larger to accommodate like the bigger standard for like US domestic figures and stuff like that. You got some limits on the things that you can do as far as taking photos and stuff with this thing. So if you're asking if I recommend this diorama, absolutely. It doesn't cost that much. It's easy to disassemble for storage and it looks pretty cool too. Just that one problem with the height and stuff. So you will kind of have to compromise with that. All right, y'all. So that's my video on effect system, public estate version A and D. If you like the video, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for the photos at the end and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.